Oh my. Hey, BB. She's what are you doing, Stink Stink? Should we make some hamburger helpers? A hey, Stink Stink. A hey, Stinker. A hey, Stinker. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Today, we're going to make some hamburger helper with Emberly, my little daughter here. Our little daughter, Emberly. We're going to make some uh, hamburger helper. But, Emberly, we don't need uh, any of that cilantro today. But we are going to need some hamburgers. So we're going to start out. We're going to pull some hamburger out of the fridge. Uh, hot sauce is probably not needed, but it could taste good. Okay, Emberly. So we're going to get some ground hamburger. This is 80% lean, 20% fat, three pounds, but we're only going to use about half of it. And, you know, thankfully they just got the half there. Um, as you can see, we have a bit of an eating problem here at the Cardling household, but I'm not going to judge anyone because we got to have a healthy place for myself and little Emberly to eat. Hey, put those away. Put those away. All right, Emberly, well, you're going to go play. I guess I'm going to make food dinner, okay? So if you guys don't know this stick, I want to order a special grabber, but this stick, uh, you know, I can reach stuff like the cupboard. I can get things on the, you know, I can turn the sink on, cool stuff like that. Um, so if that rug wasn't in the way, we, it makes it even easier to get um, the sink on. All right, see here. Um, we'll use this red guy here. I just washed this guy this morning. cooking it lower because every ingredient that you're going to throw in there is going to take more and more time uh, to get in there. So it's going to take a little longer and then you uh, risk burning it if you cook it at like medium heat. So just go a little bit less than medium heat or whatever the recommended is so you don't um, burn something or whatever like that. And if uh, this packaging wasn't so tight, that would be a lot easier. Um, you know the terrible thing about hamburger is that grocery stores freaking diet. You see that? They don't diet like what I should do, like not eat so much. They dye the meat. If you actually look at this meat here, you can see that the inside of it right here is actually a little bit brown, which isn't bad, but people, you know, white women out there or whatever, um, the, you know, people get a little grossed out by, you know, meat or whatever. They think that brown is bad, but that's actually good that the enzymes are actually starting to, uh, um, tenderize it, which you don't need to tenderize hamburger, but that's part of life with, uh, you know, meat. Fun fact, Danny Carterling loves meat and food. All right, so we got that wrapper coming off there. Now, we'll throw that in the pan. And that's why I told you guys not to um, put the heat on until you get the hamburger in there, because it could take you a while to get this thing cut open, whatever, with scissors, whatever you might need to do. So now we're gonna, this is three pounds. We're gonna probably just cook two pounds of it today. We're gonna throw it in there and get it browned up. And I like to use my elbows. This is another reason why I like to use my elbows to get up here and kind of be supported. Ew, gross. Quill will get that later. Oh. Almost got three pounds in there, but we can save her. We saved it, guys. All right, we'll slide that over there and we'll wrap it up later in the fridge. Now, you can stick it next to this chicken even, right back here. Always do your shopping at Albertsons because Walmart sucks. Cynthia Walton actually is a really nice lady, but Walmart food is not quality. All right, now let's see here. So another thing that I like to do when I'm cooking is uh, I like to chop the meat up a little bit before we cook it, just like I said, so it doesn't burn. All right, is there even a spatula in there? Oh, yeah. So I'm either gonna pull this guy over or I'm gonna pull this thing, just slide, slide it over here like that. Boom, ski. This could be a really cool YouTube video. Bruh. Put it on YouTube. Uh, anyway, I'm talking too much, guys. If you uh, don't like me talking, you can uh, always unfollow me. <laughs>
Just kidding, don't unfollow me. I love every one of my followers. Someone says I love them more than anything in the world. Um, so like I said, guys, I'm gonna come over here and chop this up a little bit, get a head start, then turn the heat on. Water on this cup over here. So um, this is one of the harder things, and it's getting easier for me. I actually turned the sink on by myself, but just so I don't look like a fool in front of you guys, I am going to just use my little stick here, my little handicap stick. It's called a dressing stick. If any of you guys ever want one, you can go on Amazon and get one for like 10 bucks. So over here, I'll just pop this bad boy like that. Pull this over here. And I'll put one and a half cups, or one and three quarters cups, something like that, in this cup. I think technically it'd be one and a half, but that's just me. One and a half, okay. Heaven forbid we make a worse hamburger helper than Alex is there. Yeah, dude, we're not. I'm trying to eat decent. What do you think? Is that one and a half? Yeah. Can you, can you zoom in on that for that's the good. audience? I think that's a pretty good measurement for a man that can't do a whole lot by himself. Oh, really? Allegedly. Allegedly. Says who? Allegedly. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say any names. Because I sure would, uh, I sure would have to hate to, uh, pretty wrong, old son. All right. So now I'm going to show you guys also how I turn the stove on, which is really easy. If you guys can just imagine, actually, it's not that easy because it's uh, got to use a stick. And I encourage you guys at home to get a stick and play around with like this if you guys think that you're any better than anyone in a wheelchair because you're not. You're not any better. You're all, we're all the same. We're all equal. Right, Emberly? So like this, I actually use the opposite end. I just push on there like that. <laughs> Boom. And I, like I said, I'm going to do a little meat heat. Um, and now we're going to brown up some hamburger. We're going to probably like fast forward to once the hamburger's brown. Um, but I'll show you kind of at the end how it looks and then I'll add the water and the milk and the rest of the seasoning. Cause I don't want you to, have to wait here for five minutes, um, for the stuff to brown up. So hang out here for a second. We'll get this browned up for you guys. Hey guys, we're back. We got our browned up over here. Um, now we're just gonna throw our ingredients in and uh, put the lid on. I mean, come on guys, it's not that hard. It's Hamburger Helper. Um, that's why I picked it for this Saturday night so we can go watch a, a Marvel movie or maybe Lion King with Emberly after dinner. Um, so we're gonna throw our water in here. And then obviously here it says uh, we need two and a quarter cups of milk. So we're doing double, so we're doing like four cups of milk. That's a lot. See what we got in the fridge. We just bought a gallon of milk today, so we should be good. But that old that old baby of mine, little Emily, she can go through some milk. I tell you what, she's about like that old. She goes through milk like my old Dodge Cummins goes through diesel fuel or oil. Oh, here we go. We got one and a half gallons of milk. And if anyone out there is ever interested to come uh, chill with me and have food at DHK Weld's uh, Diner. Um, just comment below and uh, tell me your address. Just kidding. I don't have enough food for that. Oh, hey, I gotta shut this door. Like that. So if you guys are wondering, a lot of guys ask about um, paralyzed people and I'm a quadriplegic. And uh, from my understanding, um, uh, what qualifies you, or whatever, unfortunately, to be a quadriplegic is you don't have hand usage. So as you see, I can't use my hand there, guys. But what I can do is I got tenodesis. So my tenodesis is basically my grip, and I can lift my wrist up and down like that, and it actually can open my fingers and close them. And that's how I'm able to you know, grab a spatula or pour milk in that bad boy. So we'll get this measured out and uh, throw, throw some milk in this guy, and then... Like I said, the rest of the ingredients and uh, throw the lid on it and let her simmer. And uh, we're going to have a freaking phenomenal feast tonight, boys. One gross thing. 
And don't be afraid of it, guys, because it's part of life when you're paralyzed. If you can't get the lid off, I love these gloves because they have a little traction on them. But if you can't get the lid off, you know, just grab it with your teeth, get the lid off that way. Um, don't be ashamed. You're trying, you're trying your best to do something. And uh, sometimes, you know, you should see my water bottles. It looks like a, a werewolf attacked them. So we're going to put in um, two and a quarter <laughs> cups times two. So golly, four and a half cups of milk. I ought to just pour this whole gallon of milk in this uh, thing and call it good. But I suppose we'll do it right. This actually might be a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Do the milk. Everything else has been pretty easy. Last time I did the milk, it, oh, I think we had those little gallon jugs, and I could use my Tina Desis on that. But that's all right. You're not always going to have a perfect situation in life. Right, Emberly? That's two and a quarter. Yeah, I should just pour the whole thing in there. Call her a day. Oh, I'll have to clean that up, guys. Oh, yeah. Milky milk. That's why I like Hammer Helper. It's super simple. And the stroganoff is freaking fire. But you guys should see me in the next one, the next video. We're going to do some, uh, maybe some brisket. When the weather gets better, we'll have to fire up that smoker, smoke up a brisket. There's that. Now, we'll just go over here. Um, I need to get that cleaned up. Oh, hey, check it out. Cleaned up. All right. I'm getting dirty. I really want to post this on YouTube. Um, how to cook when everyone thinks you can and you got to prove them wrong. And the great thing about Hamburger Helper is it works great for your baby. That's why we're doing a double serving is uh, it works great for your baby for lunch the next day. And it's not, called, it's not called being lazy. It's called being resourceful. And we're going to be resourceful parents. And we're going to um, do the what's best for our baby. And that is make sure she's fed. Little girl's growing. So she needs her pasta, her meat, her veggies, her milk, and vitamins. And I think there's a packet in here. So we'll get a little of the pasta out. Oh, we're good. And we knew that was going to happen, but that's okay. Luckily, it's not hot. And that's your seasoning. So now, um, we're just going to take our mouth here. Like I said, don't be afraid. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. We made a mess. That's okay, guys. My goodness. Hey, we're gonna fail sometimes, but uh, the uh, magic of video is we could always edit that out, but we're not because we think that it's funny. And it's all right to make a mistake every once in a while, it's part of life. So we're gonna mix this bad boy up and we're gonna throw the lid on and let her simmer for 15 minutes, and uh, we'll have uh, um, some amazing hamburger helper for Amberly. Uh, being paralyzed is, uh, no one really complains about your food, and it's actually better than my friend Alex. If you guys haven't met him, he's a really good, really good dude, but he's not a good cook. He made a hamburger helper one day that the dog choked on. Literally, Four. Gran granular, granular? I knew we should have done spaghetti. I knew it. Man, I was doing so good in this video.
And I can't believe that one little packet, and I had my scissors set out even. Oh. Amazing beef stroganoff. Made by DHK Welds and the Hamburger Helper family. We'll see you on the next weld.